Welcome back, everybody, to the continuation of our Let's Play of Space Exploration and Cross Tourio 2. So, um, I've been busy again. Actually, I've been thinking. We are setting up, or we basically have set up the big heavy girder and heavy birder and bearing machine over here. And we already know that this machine over here will be eating quite a bit of vulcanite. Now, we do have a vulcanite import over here, and there is quite a bit in there. And I guess this might be fine. But I was already kind of thinking about what we could do to improve our Vulcanite processing. Now, we might end up doing that today, or we might not end up doing that today. I'm not quite sure about that yet. We will see. But what I do know is, if we go over here to Turkman, that we do have some issues. Now, past me was very clever and already prepared space over here for the wide area beacons over here. So that we can beaconize this whole thing over here and make it go super duper fast. There is one issue, however, um, and that issue is we do not have more. We do not have enough power over here to pretty much operate this whole place over here at full beacon power. I'm also not quite sure if the belts over here will be capable to handle whatever we're going to be doing over here. So that's another issue. And overall, this might result into more issues than we actually solve. So I was kind of thinking maybe it would be for the better if we just crush the Vulcanite on planet side and then just transport the crushed ore into the rocket and do the final processing like we do with all of the other materials over here on novice as over here we do have water <laughs> we do have power we do have oil we have everything over here that we need to make this thing over here roll at full speed uh, and power we definitely do have because we did just upgrade our power plant but one step at a time first of all let us have a look at the heavy girder machine and I'm also kind of noticing, yeah, <laughs> you might notice I've been flying a bit slow. Uh, I did kind of prepare a new battle dress. It's not finished yet, but we do got a Mark III power armor with two personal sniper laser defenses in here. I still got two slots open, maybe for more sniper defense, maybe for something else. But generating power and keeping suit power is a bit of an issue. <laughs> and the whole reason why I prepared a new suit is, well... We do kind of want to maybe go explore um, a hostile planet at some point in time. If we go back over here to our overview, there is another Vulcanite planet over here, Stormhorst. And this one is actually a moon of novice, which means getting here would be pretty easy. Rockets from over here is also pretty easy. It's still waterless, which is a bit of an issue, but it's also kind of populated, 67% threat. Which means we would have to clear it out, but it's only a moon, size 630, which is more or less the same size as things like, where do we have it, uh, like Laugh over here, or maybe even like Eclodes. Eclodes, well, Laugh is more the size of it, but if we go over here to Laugh, yeah, Laugh is not that big. Even if this would be populated with biters, we would be able to completely tear them apart as much as we care. Good. Oh yeah, this was the Twitch planet. Only thing we do over here, I think, is Beryllium. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going pretty well, it seems. Good, 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 good. All right, let's close this one down again. There we go, back over here. So this is now the in-place and put-down uh, heavy girder machine. Uh, a couple things we still need to do. For one, uh, it's kind of dark over here, yet again. So we do need to put down some lamps. So let's maybe start off with some lamps real quick, because lamps are very important, in my opinion. Don't want to have a base that is too dark, else we spawn monsters. Wait, no, that was Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, that was always such a fun mechanic in Minecraft. Like, where there's darkness, monsters spawn. And if you ever played something like, like a skyblock or something like that, or something where you just build where there's no monsters or opponents at the beginning, and you just build like a big, big platform, and you forget to light it up, and then you come back to it, and you go like, oh shit. <laughs> where did all of those come from? <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, all right, all right. Oh, there's a random cliff in there. Let me just blow it up real quick. Where's my cliff explosives? Here we go. Get wrecked. Good. Now, lubrication should be pretty easy. Robert Joe over here. Now, you are the lubrication man. Uh, request some lubrication, please. Here we go. Train is coming over. Excellent. Do we need to set up anything over here? No, these are all set up correctly. Then, this one over here, this one is going to be the... What is this one? Well, you're the green one, and the green one is the one that is for the Vulcanite. So, you're the Vulcanite train. And the other one is the Iridium train. So, 
Not Vulcanite. Not Cultonite. Vulcanite. There we go. Vulcanite Requester. Train should be coming over right away. Train is coming over right away. Excellent. And you over there, you are going to be the Iridium Requester. Iridium Ingots. There we go. And this train over here is not coming over. Uh, I'm just going to order you over. There we go. I want to see this machine over here work. Good. We're also missing a signal over here. There we go. So we do the swap. It all goes in. It all goes over there. And it's all ready to go. So lubrication is in. Excellent. Good, 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 good. Yeah, we ended up making this machine over here. This was kind of a nice spot to put it, in my opinion. Uh, I also put down over here uh, a bit of a sulfur sink. <laughs> this, the problem with this place is the productivity modules over here generate a sulfur, and we need to do something with it. And, well, the sulfur train has never been called anymore, so it's now going into the sink over here. I'm um, not really the biggest fan of that, but, well, we need to keep our um, our plate over here going. So, yeah, that's how it's going to be. Good. Uh, okay, you look fine. You look fine. You look... Okay, you look fine. There we go. This one's also good. Good and good. Excellent. There comes the girders. Not the girders. The ingots. Here we go. The train should be emptying out itself quite fast because, well, the <laughs> stacking opportunities over there are not the best. Here we go. Here we go. Also a bit surprising that this one took the longest, but so be it. Good. Machine is starting. We're getting some plates in. I can see the girders coming out. Look at how many girders are coming out. Oh, that is so many girders. That is so many girders. <laughs> that's pretty impressive, the amount of girders that's coming out. Good. All right, it's backing up over here. And then, of course, there's also some girders going over here. But we then turn them into heavy bearings. And, oh boy, there's also so many. <laughs> this is a pretty resource-intense build over here. The amount of iridium plate that just goes through here that's being chewed up per second is impressive. Very impressive, to say the least. But I'm also very impressed by the amount of stuff that's coming around. Now, this will not be enough for, for a train ship, but not even remotely close. We do have to check up that our iridium processing is up to speed. Good. Um, of course, a couple of you in chat, not in chat, in the comment section have reminded me that I can set hotkeys for this thing over here. But I kind of like to use the Universe Explorer because it gives you always an overview of what I have available. And if I just start swapping surfaces with hotkeys, it will be faster. Of course it will be. But I think it will also be more confusing for the people that are trying to watch and try to keep up. So we are using the Universe Explorer. Good. You are waiting on Vulcanite. Um, so if we go back to Turkman... And we check up on the Vulcanite over here. What is your issue? Your issue is... There's no issue. Then it's a reverse issue. Uh, let's go back. There we go. Ah, there's still stuff in here. Yeah, we got a bit of an issue with... Chests over here. That contain stuff in them that never gets picked up. And I guess the reason for that is... It's so far, 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 far away that it never gets away into storage what we should probably do is maybe make them or turn them into some active providers so I'm, I'm pretty sure we do not have active providers on the Byra surface let's go back to the mall real quick just so that we can um adjust the rocket over here here we go here we go the Byra rocket is i think this one over here um no oh, that's laugh it's this one there we go and then chests there we go Oh, we do have active providers over there. Oh, that means uh, we should be able to switch them up. Mm, we do need an upgrade planner for that because we can't just... Actually, can we? Can we do... Wait a minute. Let's try. <laughs> I rarely upgrade logistic chests, so I genuinely do not know. Uh, but you're going to have the issue. There we go. Turn that into that. Oh, yeah, we can just do it like this. There we go. Make them active providers, then the bots will pick up the stuff and we'll bring it back. Same for these over here. Turn these into active providers. So the bots will pick up the stuff that's coming from over here. The bots do have to fly a bit to get there. We, we do have, well, a bit of a donut network over here. It should be fine for the bots. They should be able to get over there. Good, good, good. Perfect. All right. That will mean that we'll bring it over here into storage. Now, we might want to make... Yeah, let's put down a couple of these. And maybe turn off the map. We might want to dedicate a couple of these to specific goods. Like these over here. Filtered out. Um, where are they? Are they in here? 
Yeah, they are. Yeah, make these four. Oh, what's it called again? Yeah, make all of these four, four, four cargo rocket parts. And this one over here will be explicitly used for... Where's the thing? There it is. Space capsules. Good. Good, 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 good. Now, they do need rocket parts in here. And we should also make sure that... Yeah, it's not wired up yet. So let's wire it up real quick. Uh, here we go. Now it's wired up. and part of the system. So we do not also order up any additional rocket parts if we do need more rocket parts. Things are being delivered over here. Perfect. So if we go all the way over there, yeah, we can see the logistics bots flying off over there. Trying to pick up the stuff that's coming from up there. I think if we just do it like this, it'll be fine for now. And with this, once they empty out the space over there, which it is, the rocket should arrive any second now. Now, there he comes. There we go. And then the production over here will also start again and we get more iridium ingots coming out. Good. All right. All right. All right. Then the big question is going to be, what do we do about the vulcanite processing? I think maybe at the moment we could be good by just ignoring it. <laughs> I mean, we do make vulcanite quite a bit if we need to. So it might be good. We, we could probably ignore it for now but we do need to do this at some point in time as well same is true for the inner side um, plate processing the inner side also does require an upgrade um if we have a look at our intermediates over here the only thing that's missing is an aeroframe pole intermediate production it's it's not trivial <laughs> to say the least i was kind of hoping it would be like a one-to-one -one conversion but no it actually does require us to input parts um all right all right all right and we should maybe also get the automation core going at some point in time we could just do the automation core it's going to be a very boring thing we need to do but we do need these things and might as well make a big mess of it and just make a big automation core and beryllium uh pole making machines let's maybe start off with the beryllium pole because that thing is just easy to do and then we're done with that as well so you over there beryllium pole we also need for beryllium pole we need things like iron sticks we have my iron sticks. There we go. Good. We need one stick per second. Excellent. You make 16 plus 33%. Well, that is about another five. So you make about 20, 21 sticks per second. No, you do 20, 21 crafts per second. That means you do 42 crafts per second in total because your crafting time is only 0.5 seconds. You make 84 sticks per second. And one of these over here requires... 16 per second so 84 uh we can go 16 free okay. and we can just go yeah so turn this off 16 32 48 64 uh and then what is that 78 88 mm, 88 might be a good number if we go back to you 16 21 uh and then times four that is 84 sure that's a ratio <laughs> let's take that i'll take it Good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, then we do need to make it a little bit more gorgeous. Uh, this is definitely loaded territories. So, yeah, let's place you over there for a second. Let's place you over there for a second. Uh, coming out is at least one purple belt. Mm. And it's going to be super duper purple everywhere, which I guess is fine. And then in goes over here. What do we say, 16? Yeah, at least 16. So at least the red belt is going in. Here we go. And then we have like five of these. There we go. These. Good. Well then. How about we do something like, well, this one over here will be red at the end. There we go. We could, of course, not make this purple and just make it another color. We could do the full calculation. We could keep it purple. I don't want to keep it purple. Let's do the calculation. I love doing the calculation. So this is 32. Together, that is a blue one. This is 48. Together, that is a green one. And then it's purple. Good. So you have an air. You're a green belt. And you have an air. You are a blue belt. And now it looks way more colorful. I love it. I really do. Good. Then, beryllium plates. I think we do need two beryllium plates per stick. 
Yes, we do. So we need twice the amount over here in terms of stakes. So 16 per second, 32 per second, brilliant plate coming in. So 32, 64, a lot. Um, hmm, yes. We can definitely have two purple belts coming down over here uh, as part of a brilliant input. Absolutely. And you do need 32, so I guess it's going to be something like blue, blue, blue. And then maybe something like this. Let's try this. Let's maybe also yet again start with purple over here. Purple, purple. And then what do we do over here? We can do this. Skip that. Actually do it like this. Ooh, this might be good. I got a good idea for this one. All right, uh, let's just connect it all up real quick. There we go, there we go, there we go. We color the belt afterwards. So, you over there, you do need to input priority from the bottom. That's going to be important for you. All right, uh, each of these is definitely like a blue belt because it's 32 each. There we go, there we go. Uh, did we do that correctly there? We did do that. So this is 32, and that's 32. That's 64 in total. And 64, that is, well, a little bit faster than a green belt. So this is definitely purple. And then this one over here is, well, this one is 32 plus 8. That's 40. Wait, what? <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. This is, this is 64. 64 plus 60. There we go. <laughs> so that's 80 going down over here. And actually, that's not going 80 over there. That's that's 64 still going over here. Um, but this one over there is also 32. And this one over here, here comes the difference. So 32, 32, and this is the rest. And the rest over here, hmm, we could keep it on the blue belt. Yeah, maybe just keep it like this. I think this is fine. I don't think we need to make it any more special like this. Good. All right. And then, of course, we're missing the most important thing, and that is the output. How much are you going to be outputting over here? Very good question. Uh, you do make one per second, so we make 16 per second plus 32 percent. That's about 20, 21 per second. All right, all right, all right. So it's definitely a red out over here, and then it's, let's say it's 20. That's a total of 100. So out comes about something, 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 two purple belts, something, something, something. Good. Um... We could do it like this. I mean, red underground is not too expensive. So if we do it like this, it'll be fine. And then we go like this. And then let's make me just use a purple for now. Not like that. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> Good. Uh, I'm just going to use purple. We're going to paint it back in an appropriate color afterwards. There we go. There we go. There we go. And out comes, well, technically out comes two green belts, if you think about it. Um, do we then need the purple inserter over here? Mm, good question. Let's start from the back, shall we? So it's about 21-ish. So let's go with 21. So this is 21. This is 21 together. That's 42. 42 is less than 45. So we can use a blue one over here. Then we get up to 60 something, something, something. That's a green one. Definitely a green one. And then we get up to 80 something, 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 something. That's definitely a purple one. Good. And then together with this one, we get up to 105. And 105, well, that's not a purple anymore. That's two greens. Actually, 105 is... Yeah, two greens is fine. Two greens is perfectly fine. And then we have the full rainbow setup over here. I do like these rainbow setups. These are quite nice, actually. Good. Now, what do we need? Uh, we definitely do need one of these with this in it. There we go. And we need to find a place for you. Hmm. We could just make a simple mirror out of this. There we go. And then, wait, turn it around. Place you over there. It does reach all of them. It, it feels a bit inefficient. But I think it's fine. I mean, it's only aeroframe pulse. And it's a lot of them. This already is quite the intense undertaking. Especially in terms of Beryllium play. There's already like four purple belts of brilliant plates coming in and then there will be like oh we haven't even done this one yet um 
16 input speed, and you need two plates per second. That is 32 input speed. So, yeah, you need the blue belt input and the blue belt input of here of iron plates. There we go. Good, 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 good. <laughs> a very, very simple machine, but a very effective one. We could, of course, double it down if we think we need to. We, we could just go with this and go like here. This is going to be important, but I'm not quite sure if we can support this amount of Perunian plate. Then again, do we care? That's the big question. And you know what? I don't care. We're just going to make a big thing out of it. And it'll be fine. Just go big. And worry about the resource costs later. And then get surprised by a power bill. And go like, oh my. Uh, <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Good. Kind of reminds me of, of the fridge story my dad told me. Like, like my, my, my dad had like this very, very old fridge sitting in the basement and he only used it to keep drinks cold like like beers and stuff like that uh and that fridge well it was one uh, it was a very old fridge i think that fridge is older than me at the time actually a really really old fridge and well old fridges back then they were not really as energy efficient as they used to be or as they are today even today's fridges are not very energy efficient but back then it was way worse <laughs> And he was kind of also a little bit surprised about his power bill at some point in time. So he started to do, to get himself one of those, those power measurement thingies you just put in the wall socket. And then he was just going around and going like, okay, let's have a look. What, 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 is, what is costing me this much? And basically he went um, appliance by appliance and just put the power socket thingy in to measure how much power it costs. And at some point he came up to <laughs> that fridge and he kind of noticed that it was eating like, um, what was it? And the, the, the fridge itself was eating a kilowatt? Yeah, a kilowatt. A little bit, a couple kilowatts was it eating every day, every hour. So it kind of added up quite a bit. <laughs> I almost thought megawatt, but no, no, it's kilowatts. It's kilowatts. No, a megawatt would be insane. It would be really insane. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it was just eating quite a couple of kilowatts, like, like a lot of kilowatts. I mean, your normal. PC, your desktop PC, usually eats up, well, at most, well, mine currently is, think, I think, eating up about 400 to 500 watts, which is already quite a bit, if you think about it. Um, if it's running something high GPU intensive, it can go up to, well, maximum 750, then, then my power supply craps out. <laughs> but that gives you, like, a number. Good, 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 good. All right, all right, all right. This thing over here, we need to find a place for you. Mm, also, yeah, we did see you already operating. We still also need the trains over here to make this thing work. Did we get some new ingots? Oh, we did get some new ingots. We should, hey, let's maybe put the trains in first. There we go. And then we find a place for you. Good, after that, yeah, the only thing we still need to do is the automation course. Uh, I'm, I'm so not motivated to make these automation course. <laughs> They're so simple tech. You just look at them and you go like, ah. Uh, Really? Can't we just buy them from a shelf or something like that? <laughs> do we really have to automate these? Yes. Yes, we do. All right. Uh, get ourselves some cargo wagons. Cargo wagons, cargo wagons. There they are. Boop. There we go. Bring me those, please. And then we all know that we want the color yellow because the color yellow is, well, it's definitely faster than the red color we have over there. Good. Um, I think I already named the station. The only thing I did not name is whatever we have going on in space. Here we go. And you there. You're not Rimulus Scarlet. No, definitely not. Your name is going to be... Where is that thing? It's over here, isn't it? The Heavy Girder Requester. There we go. And the one next to you is not Noe Mailart. Absolutely not. You are going to be the Heavy Bearing Requester. There we go. Good. And then back down we go. We are going to go over here for space. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did, did I name them correctly over there? I did name them off camera, but did I name them correctly? I did name them correctly. Good. Um, nope. That's the wrong space to look for. Space. All right. We need to have heavy bearing provider, heavy bearing requester. We go up. We go down. We go into the sluice. We go out of the sluice. Okay, it was backwards, but that's fine. Because we still need to move this around either way. So we go in, we go up, we go out, we go to the requester, we go in, we go down, we go out, and then over here, full cargo, and over here, empty cargo, let it rip. Good, next one, one, two, 
And then we need all of these. No, wait, that's train stations. There we go. Zoop. Give me those, please. Um, also turn them yellow. Perfect. We only need to replace the stations over here. We go back to space and we look for the heavy girders. There they are. Provide the requester. You all the way at the top. You in the middle over here. Full cargo. Empty cargo. Is the train complete? The train seems to be completed. Let it rip. Good. And yeah. Oh! <laughs> Wait, we can't fix it via remote. We can't fix that with the remote view. Boop. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Good. And here come the girders. Excellent. Oh, this this looks so nice. I do love myself a decent productivity bonus. It's it's just so nice to see. Now this one over here is of course a little bit slower than the other one. I guess that's fine. But we also will not need these heavy bearings that often. Right? Like one big train of this will probably be enough for a while. Good, 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 good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Perfect. Then the only thing we need to do is find ourselves a place to where we're going to be making the beryllium pole machine. It's not going to be that big of a machine, but we do kind of want to sneak it in somewhere. So let's find a place for it. And then the only thing I have to do is make sure it connects up correctly. And then we're done with it as well. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking, what do we need? We've got two inputs and one output. So the station is not going to be too big. We could place it over here. It's a bit, well, we could just extend this, go in. And then go out over there. We, we do miss the turnaround point over here. But we do have a turnaround point over there. You know what? This over here will be fine. And then at some point in time we can maybe mine that copper out. The only thing we need to do is to make sure that we find like the center point over here. There we go. And then maybe turn it around. Wait a minute. There we go. It, it's still somewhat centered. And then maybe place it down over here. Good, sure. And then we can maybe, we can definitely make a station over here. Definitely make one over here. Maybe think about mining out the copper over here. We, we could always use another copper mine. Uh, that's always something that we need. And then we have, well, at least the beryllium pulse done again. Good, 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 good. And then of all the intermediates to the left, um, space elevator cable is definitely something we want to make. Mm, I think we're, we're not making the energy control units yet. So those are still open. Um, automation course, even though I don't want to make them. And I think the inserter parts as well. <laughs> we should probably make them. Um, and then, of course, the bio scrubber. So, so we're basically getting down to the final parts. And then over here, the heavy, you know, the aeroframe bulkheads is also something we need to make on Novice. And I think the rest of this is all made in space. Things like the quantum processor is made in space. The AI core. Oh, the AI core is made on Novice. Perfect. Um, we're going to make those on Novice then. Mm, that is the dynamic emitter. That is made in space. The heavy composite over here. That is made, I think, on Novice even. Because I don't see any kind of, of recipe requirement over here. So there's still a couple of things we need to do on Novice. But there's also quite a bit of things that we can only make in space. But we will see about that soon, the further we go along. Perfect! That will be it for today. If you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. Every one of those actions does help me out in growing this channel into something bloody amazing. And you can also find me on twitch.tv slash boltviking, where we do even more Factorio. We're doing some Pyanons over there, and also some Darkest Dungeon, and probably something else soon as well. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening, and until next time, see you around!